is Nancy Leader on the Zeta Report. The sinkhole in Bayou Corn in Louisiana has grown. On late June 2012, it was merely methane bubbles along the bayou and a bit of shifting ground. By early August 2012, the sinkhole had gotten worse and residents began to worry about a salt dome cavern nearby storing petroleum. Might it get consumed by the sink? By early October, an oil slick could be seen on the pool of water in the sinkhole, and residents nearby were being sickened by the fumes. Pipe had floated to the surface. Clearly, the oil reserve had been breached. Why is this a concern? Salt dome caverns are used to store petroleum all along the Gulf, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve utilizing them. Salt dome caverns are created by washing out salt deposits under rock layers. Water washes the salt out, making room for petrol. This is by far the cheapest method for storing petrol in its many forms. Liquefied gas, propane, butane, ethane, ethylene, oil, gasoline, natural gas, and crude oil. The U.S. has 62 caverns along the coast, stored in four sites in Louisiana and Texas. Imagine what would happen in a catastrophe, like the pending adjustment of the New Madrid fault line predicted by the Zetas. For the Zetas, Houston will participate. The stress on the North American plate will resolve by ripping. The notable area of catastrophe during this is the eastern half of the continental U.S. From Houston to Chicago to New England, the diagonal pole will tear the underpinnings of cities and create a catastrophe for the U.S. that will make the New Orleans disaster appear trivial. The North American plate pulls at a diagonal as it is a flat top, unable to roll. This adjustment will pull Mexico to the west, while New England remains in place, ripping the bridges of the Mississippi River and certainly rupturing the salt dome caverns along the Gulf. As the Zetas have said, oil deposits will burn during the pole shift and should, in any case, be avoided. Salt dome caverns are no exception. Refineries and storage tanks of oil and natural gas and gasoline will be broken and set afire during the shift, creating a holocaust for all nearby. Likewise, gasoline stations, fuel pumps, and even tightly sealed tanks may rupture and leak, also a continuing danger for any nearby. Natural gas lines in streets will run fire along the street, setting houses ablaze. Zeta Talk. Until next time on the Zeta Report, I'm Nancy Leader.